Hello everyone, my name is Ward West and this is Benoit Bigs channel. If you are not my subscriber, please do consider subscribing and don't forget to click the bell button. Alright, okay, let's start by solving this problem. The problem for today is from Engineering Economics. Simple interest topic. Okay, here we go. A deposit of 110,000 was made for 31 days. The net interest after deducting 20% withholding tax is 890.36. Find the rate of return annually. Letter A, 11.95%. Letter B, 12.75%. Letter C, 11.75%. And letter D, 12.25%. We can solve this problem in four easy steps. Number one, given. You should analyze and look for the given in the given problem. Okay? Number two, formula. Uh, you should think the right formula based on the problem. Number three, okay, you need to have a solution or the computation. And the last one is the final answer. You should box the final answer. Okay, let's start for the given. Uh, based on the problem, we have 110,000. And the net interest after deducting 20%, we have 890.36. Again, this is the interest after deducting the 20% withholding tax. And the number of interest period is we have yeah, 31 days. And the rate of interest daily, and the formula is we have the, the R over 360. The R is the unknown. Okay? This is the rate of return annually or rate of interest in one year. That is the one we're looking for. Oh, yeah. Okay, so. And well, let's think for a formula. Okay, the, the formula, since this is uh, simple interest, okay, this is the standard formula. The, the interest is equivalent to the product of the principal or the present work. So the rate of interest, and we have the interest, or the number of interest period. And deriving the, deriving the rate of interest is equivalent to the I, Okay, the interest earned over the product of the present worth multiplied to the number of interest period. Okay, and uh, the I is equivalent to or the interest uh, daily is equivalent to the R over 360. Uh, 360 then multiplied to the I. So next we'll be going to proceed to the solution. Okay, based on the given. So, meron tayong uh, principal and uh, number of interest period. So, wala pa tayo. We don't have yet the I. Compute for the I based on the, uh, the given in the problem. The interest minus 20% of I. So, if you just equivalent to 0.8 I or 80%, diba? 100 minus 20%, so 80%. So, based on the problem, ang ating niya, uh, 80% of I, which is yun yung kanyang uh, net, to equivalent to, this one, 890.36, equivalent yun doon sa 80% of the interest. Okay, to get the I, we just simply, well, uh, divide. So simply divide, we have 890.36 uh, divide uh, 0.8 is equivalent to so 100 uh, 1112.95 okay so that is 1112.95 this is our the interest earned yung ito kayo net the net is 890.36 this is your gross no 1112.95 that is your interest 
And, ayan, complete na. So, my I, my P, saka my N. So, we can solve, we can solve for the rate of interest uh, daily. No? Uh, what we're going is just substitute the value. So, the I is we have the interest 112, 1,112.95 uh, over the, princip, uh, the product of the principal and then interest period, 100, uh, 10,000 times 31. So, using the... Uh, Again, your calculator. So we have uh, hundred twelve point ninety five and divide by hundred ten uh, point three times three to one. So we have uh, three point twenty six uh, three point twenty six thirty eight. All right. And times 10 to the negative 4. Okay, tama? Okay. So, next, mayroon tayong I. We're going to proceed to get the R. The rate of return annually. So, by using this formula, we just multiply to 360. Okay? So, times 360. So, 0 0.11749. So, 0 0.1175. Okay, so 0 0.1175 is 11, uh, equivalent to 11.75%. Okay, this is our final answer. This is our uh, final answer. And let us proceed doon sa ating uh, options to see kung ano ba yung tamang sagot. Okay, and... Uh, this is uh, 11.75 uh, and that is letter C. That is our answer for this. Before I end this video, so let me let me discuss some basic information with regard to simple interest so that we could be able to somehow help you uh, solving simple and uh, related simple interest problem. Okay? okay? For simple interest concepts, so yep, the interest is the return on capital or cost of using capital it is the amount of money paid for the use of borrowed capital or the income produced by money which has been loaned so that would be the interest and whereas the simple interest is calculated using the principal only ignoring any interest that had been accrued in preceding period and the formula is for the interest is equivalent to the principal then the interest earned and the number of interest periods okay that is for the formula for the interest and to get the future it's equivalent to the present work plus the interest and deriving the formula for the future is equivalent to the principal one plus the i multiplied to n okay so this is the formula for getting the interest and the future work. And if you want to get, well, mukhang di ko atang nalagay. So if you want to get the the present work, given the future, just simply the, we have the F over, di ba, the quantity, 1 plus I N. Okay? So, you can also, just, the same lang naman. So, equivalent to F, 1 plus I N is to negative one it's just the same okay and for the type of simple interest we have ordinary and exact for the ordinary simple interest this this is a simple interest in which it is assumed that each month contains 30 days and consequently each year has 360 days so this is the uh, this is the problem that we solve it's 360 days yung ating. We assume 360 days for ordinary simple interest. So, 1 month 30, 1 year 360. It is called the banker's year. And the other types is the exact simple interest. This is a simple interest in which the exact number of days per month is used. The exacto. So, 1 ordinary year is 365 for standard. And pag mayroon tayong leap year, so 360 day, uh, 366 days. So this this happened, you no, know, every four years, diba? So where in the yung ating February is, diba, 29 days. So kaya may pasobra isa, 
dapat muna nating malaman kung ito ay leap year o hindi. So, I will discuss that kapag mayroon tayong problem. Problem related to exact simple interest. Okay? okay? For now, we'll go back to the to our problem. And again, the answer for this problem is trivial. It's letter C, 11.75%. So, I hope may natutunan kayo sa ating uh, problem. So, bago tayo magtapos, isang masigabong palakpakan naman yan. Ayan. Okay, alright. Sa mga hindi pa nakapag-subscribe, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the bell button. See you on my next video.